Aboriginal TV was at the Vopac Fuel Terminal, located at East Arm. As the Senator, the Honourable Nigel Scullion, Minister for Indigenous Affairs, launched Fuel Tank 106, which will store low aromatic fuel. The low aromatic fuel will then be supplied to Indigenous communities where petrol sniffing is prevalent, to eradicate the threat of petrol sniffing for the well-being of community members. LAF, low aromatic fuel, was produced in southern Australia, uh, but it needs to go to northern Australia. So we, because of the requirements about the different fuel storages, we just didn't have the capacity to store fuel in northern Australia. So we're now rolling out some bulk storage capacity, of which uh, uh, 106 and the VOPAC terminal here, you can see behind me, is the first of that. Uh, we'll also be rolling it out in, uh, in Queensland, uh, and the Gulf of Carpentaria and wherever it's actually needed to be stored because we have had some difficulties. Sometimes if there's some problems with transport, you can never have a community that has a demand for sniffable fuel because of the damage that it will do. So this is a very practical solution, a very practical solution to a gap in the strategy because there was some tension around actually ensuring that the fuel was arriving in communities in a timely fashion. There is no reason not a single reason that you would want to have sniffable fuel when you can have laugh. There is no difference in price uh, to the distributor, there is no differences whatsoever. We pay for the entire changeover. Yes, we've had some difficulties with a few in the past. You know, it's still a mystery to me. Uh, luckily they've sold, they've moved on and uh, we'll continue to work on, as we roll out in these new areas, uh, to ensure that uh, work on the education campaign to make sure that those people uh, who are selling fuel understand the benefits. So what kind of other countermeasures, along with the uh, low aromatic fuel, are set up in place for people who are coming off uh, dependency issues and substance abusers out there? Well, we've learned a lot from our experience in Central Australia. So organisations like Kalis, who are dedicated to ensuring when people are coming off any substance, whether it's, it's, it's marijuana or, or alcohol or, or petrol, where they've been overdoing it with petrol nothing, there's no amount doesn't overdo it, um, that we have we have counsellors, we have people to try to re-engage people uh, because people when they're uh, in sub cycle of substance abuse are disconnected from family, tragically, community, employment, education, um, housing and it's really important that we reconnect them with all of those things. So reconnection just doesn't happen, you know. They need assistance in knowing where they can get housing, they need assistance in knowing where, you know, often to come back to family because their behaviour when they've been sniffing petrol is pretty outrageous at times and self-harming, not that they not cutting themselves, or, but because they walk under, you know, in front of the road and everybody yells at them, what do you think you're doing? Well, they don't know what they're doing, they don't. And so a lot of people are pretty cranky with them. So when, you, when you're coming away from petrol, you need some assistance. It's actually something that it washes out of your system pretty quickly, um, but your physical addiction still, um, and social addiction, Still, still exists, but it's really important to have wraparound services from counselling services similar to the, that we, which we've developed in Central Australia, and that will be rolling out as we roll out the new areas of open. So that's going to go national. Well, it, uh, it, it, it where it already exists, we, where we're we going to roll it out. We're rolling it out across at the moment Tennant Creek, Catherine. Then we're walk, then we're going out across it's Palm Island. We're rolling it out now. It'll be Cape York. It'll be Carpentaria. It's now the Barclay. So everywhere we roll it out next, yes, that will be the case. But no, we're probably not rolling it out in Sydney uh, because there is no petrol sniffing in Sydney. Uh, and no, we're not rolling it out in some places uh, in, in the Pilbara because there's no petrol sniffing in some places in the Pilbara. So wherever it is, it'll be a response to where we find petrol sniffing. But I think because we've nipped it now, we've really smashed it. Uh, the early days when 400 odd young kids, just children, uh, were there uh, having a, uh, you know, just destroying their lives and the lives of others. Really not understanding how damaging it is for themselves that it's just so likely to end up as fatal. Then um, we've just changed that so much. So we're now, but we know how dangerous it is, which is why we need to maintain any sign we put this in when we put councillors around it. So this is only one part. Having um, low aromatic fuel is only one part of quite a sophisticated strategy as we roll it out. Minister for Indigenous Affairs, Nigel Scullion, thanks for your time. Thanks very much.